Well, hello again. This is Steve Martin, Love for His People. We are on top of the Herva Synagogue. And I'm going to give you a tour, bird's eye view. So come, walk with me. I'm going to follow my wife up these stairs. The one that says up. Don't go down, up the down ones. Because you will hear from those coming down. The Israeli flags are flying. We're a day away from Independence Day. Number 71. May 8th starts evening through May 9th. The Israeli celebrate. That is looking eastward. The other side of that hill will be the Judean Desert starts. Cardo is over there. Oh, flag. The flag. Up close and personal. Oh, you go ahead of me. Yep. Church over there, I do not know which one it is. Let us continue around the top. The Herba Synagogue. Over in that direction would be the western wall. A little bit to the left actually. You can see the grave sites on the hill. The Temple Mount is on Mount Moriah. We are on Mount Moriah, but well, it's actually the Temple Mount over there to the left. Oh, that, is that where, um, is that the Mount of Olives on there? On the other side, yes. On the other side of the Kidron Valley would be the Church of All Nations, the Golden Gate, Eastern Gate. Here's the Jewish Quarter. You see the menorah down there, the golden menorah will go in the new third temple. They are getting ready. One way or the other, that will be removed. Keeping it clean. <laughs> Mount Scopus is over there. Hadassah Hospital, Hebrew University. This is a Jerusalem flag along with the Israel flag. They know Hebrew, listen along. נאלצה הקהילה לקחת הלוואות שאותן לא הצליחה להחזיר והמוסלמים החריבו את בית הכנסת וגירשו את הקהילה האשכנזית מירושלים מאותו הזמן נקבע שם החצר חורבות רבי יהודה החסיד ובקיצור החורבה לאחר מאה שנה לערך, באמצע המאה התשע עשרה הגיעו לשכונה הזאת תלמידי הגאון מבילנה הם הסדירו את החוב למוסלמים והתחילו לשקם את החצר ולבנות מחדש שלום 
and welcome to the roof of the Horva Synagogue. The synagogue has been fully restored and is in constant use for prayer and Torah study. The outdoor balcony reaches around the entire dome and offers you a breathtaking panoramic view. After this explanation, you are invited to walk along it. But before we tell you about the view, we will explore a little bit into the story of the Horva Synagogue. This land was purchased by Jews in the 15th century and was named Deir el Shikhnaz. Those who settled here bought this land with the intention of building a neighborhood and a synagogue. After about 300 years, a group of Polish Jews arrived under the leadership of Rebbe Yehuda HaChassid. Despite hardships, they decided to build their community in Jerusalem. Tragically, the Rebbe died suddenly, and then they were forced to borrow money from the Muslims. When they couldn't repay their debt, the Muslims destroyed their synagogue and banished this congregation of Ashkenazi Jews from Jerusalem. From that time onward, the place was named the Horva of Rebbe Yehuda HaHasid. After approximately 100 years, in the middle of the 19th century, the followers of the Gaon of Vilna arrived and settled here. They paid the Muslims the money which was owed and began to clean up the area and rebuild the synagogue. For 84 years, the synagogue stood in all its glory, serving as a central house of worship. All its glory. But then, in the year 1948, during the War of Independence, it was destroyed by bombing when forces of the Jordanian Legion captured the old city. The synagogue was in ruins for 66 years, and the only parts which remained were a portion of the eastern wall and a broken floor. Finally, in 2002, the State of Israel gave the go-ahead for this historic synagogue to be rebuilt by the Company for the Restoration and Development of the Jewish Quarter. This synagogue is an exact replica of the one that was destroyed in 1948. It was dedicated in 2010, 300 years after it was destroyed the first time, and about 60 years after the second destruction. And here it stands, fully rebuilt and open for prayer. Another elaborate building, which adorned the skyline of the old city in the 19th century, and was even taller than the Horva Synagogue, was the Tiferet Israel Synagogue. It was also destroyed during the capture of the old city in the War of Independence. The company for the restoration and development of the Jewish Quarter is currently finalizing the building plans in preparation for the restoration of the Tiferet Israel Synagogue. And now a description for some of the important sites which can be seen from this balcony. Please look directly ahead in the direction of the Herodian Quarter, which is indicated on the panoramic map. It is an underground archaeological site. That would be the Christian Quarter. You can tell by the crosses on the church steeples. They have a golden dome. Typically that's Greek Orthodox. It also can be Russian Orthodox. It's a Jewish quarter. Beautiful. We will end this. Shalom.